are trees with multiple trunks more dangerous? Hey guys, my name is Mark Russell, coming to you from Marietta, Georgia, and I have a really, really, really neat tree to show you here in just a second. So I'm ISA certified arborist. There's a storm brewing. You might hear the lightning and thunder in the back. Hear the thunder, not the lightning. So I wanna to talk to you today about what's known as a co-dominant tree. Here's a great example of one. And this is two trees, co-dom, uh, two trunks. And we have what they call included bark right here. As each stem gets bigger, it squishes together and they are prone to failure, okay? Because they don't have any um, fibers going here. It's a highly acute angle. And the other thing is because they're relatively straight up and down, they don't typically build a lot of good what they call response growth because the energy from this tree is going straight down rather than out. So they don't build a lot of collar here and they obviously don't have a lot of attachment points. So they tend to fail. Now the way to solve that is way up at the top. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of thunder in the background. Way at the top, you can put a strap between them. We, we, there's, you can put a strap called the cobra sling, cobra sling, or you can put a cable in there where you drill the tree, you put lag bolts in, and you, uh, you cable it together. I need to show you something that is awesome, and this is why I'm actually shooting the video, because this is a pre-failed, gonna take the camera away. Look at this, it's pre-failed. The tree failed but it didn't go all the way. My suspicion is way, way up at the tippy top, what happened is during a storm, it started to split. Now you can tell, let me just show you this. You can tell that this has been split for a few years because see this rounding right here? So that's indicating to us that that tree has been split and has started to round in there for at least three years, probably more like five. Now look at this guys, look at this. Look at all that decay. Now, not everybody knows this, but decay, it doesn't ever go away. A tree that, trees cannot undecay. So like, unlike human bodies where the bones can stitch together internally, the cambium layer of the tree, which is right out the outside edge of the tree, that's the only place where new cells can get created. Right there, right there. That's the cambium layer. So ultimately, all of this decay that's inside this trunk, it's never going to, it's never gonna stitch back together, guys. So ultimately, this tree is, it's a weak tree. It's pre-failed. It's a good thing that it doesn't have an awesome target right there. I mean, I sure would want it to be hanging over that. So uh, one thing that I was gonna mention, what was it gonna be? What was I gonna mention? We talked about straps. We talked about, uh, oh, I got it. So this is the interesting thing. A while back, it started to go and then what I think happened is way 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 up at the tip way up there I think possibly and I think the client told me that one of these trees here I think possibly see how it's entangled with this other tree when you're talking about 40 feet up on a fort now that's more than 40 but from that Y up to the top I think maybe they touched and at a 40 foot leverage point twigs can stop whole trunks from completing their failure so anyway that's what i think has happened on this but it's just such a great example of co-dominant trees why they're weak and why you should put a, a cobra sling onto a co-dominant tree okay before i get struck by lightning listen guys my name is mark russell 770 arborist we serve the North Atlanta area. In this case, we are in Marietta, Georgia. If you've had a tree fail, we work with insurance companies. I've been in this business since 1997. Give me a call. I'd love to help you answer any questions that you have. The number is 770-ARBORIST. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.